to start off with with grounding, usually when you're ungrounded, it's usually because you're overwhelmed or you've got a lot of stress going on. There's a lot going on around you, a lot going on in life. So we become, you could say, a little bit unstuck. That will take us a little bit out of our bodies as well, which is not what you really want because you, you're then receptive of having other negative influences trying to come in like your head's a bit in the cloud. I'm just going to do the new age thing and do the, do the crystals. <laughs> Yeah, absolutely. Because crystals are a really good way to help ground if you meditate as well and if you um, sit on the grass as well, if you crystal, if you can't, it's black bean winter here and freezing mm. cold. Or if you're living in the snow, it's a bit hard. So the crystals are another good tool to help uh, with grounding. So I've just jot down a few. So the first one I've got is the black tourmaline and that's really good for clearing and protecting the aura from negative influences and helps connect you to the earth. So we have this around our house, actually, mm-hmm. the black tourmaline in big pieces. It's really black mm-hmm. and really chunky, and that's really good to help clear and protect because also at the same time, if you're feeling unsafe mm-hmm. and not too sure about your environment, it will help just clear some of that negativity ar- yep. around you. So therefore, you feel like you're a bit more feel safer to, to ground. That's interesting I say that because when you're feeling unsafe, I'm not too sure. That's when you're ungrounded. You yeah. become unstuck. Yeah, I was getting with the because the last one of the topics that we talked about previously, we spoke about the Taurus field, mm. and I'm getting shown so that Taurus field goes around the body when you're in love or when you've got love around yeah. you. The minute you're in fear, you said that the Taurus goes from the heart up, and there was actually like a shrinks. Yeah, it was like yeah. an actual imagery of the Taurus only being really small. Mm. From what I'm getting from that is because of the fear, the Taurus field is actually like the grounding mechanism as well mm. for the human body to help ground um, to the earth. And the minute you're in fear, it's like maybe that's why it shrinks up because now you've got no grounding on your feet. Yeah, so therefore you become even more unstuck in a way, don't you? Yeah. Yeah. yeah it's really interesting stuff. Uh, look, let's be all very, very honest, everyone. Life at this stage of the game is pretty crazy and full on and we need to find ways to bring ourselves back into centre. And and if it is a crystal, just get one. But make sure you clear it. Absolutely. Make sure you clear it. Mm, It's very, very important. Mm. So the next crystal is hematite. So this is a powerful crystal for grounding and it helps clear away confusion Help with and it helps with practical action in the real world. So not the airy fairy world or Ooh. rainbow world or the butterfly world, Alison. <laughs> hey, <laughs> they're still real worlds. Because <laughs> they they're dimensional. Absolutely. Yep. So that one is very helpful to help with grounding. And if you're confused and not too sure, and if you are out of body and you're a little bit foggy, I'm going to be thinking that you're going to be a bit confused. Mm, absolutely. With hematite, because I have had hematite before, it is magnetic. Yeah, that you had a, um, a ring. I had a hematite ring and it, it, we, I forgot. I, used, I actually wore it around my necklace. But it is magnetic. And what I've understood is that if you can find a raw piece or, or a tumbled piece, but because it's, got, it's magnetized, apparently it also helps to magnetize to the earth, um, the earth mm. energies. Yeah. That's what I've heard too. Yeah, okay, yeah. that's good, yeah. So that's very helpful. Uh, shungite. Uh, Love shungite. Yeah, shungite's a really powerful stone. So it purifies, again, negative emotions and energies and transmutes them into light. Mm. And you will have that in your cap with some aluminium foil Yes. when you're doing it hard with AI or e- 5G. Or- yes, yeah, so that is another topic that we will talk about with the 5G network. But I do actually have shungite in a cap of mine with some aluminium foil or aluminium foil and it really actually does help it helps a lot when i'm trying to ground and combat the the mental realm ai realm whichever whichever place you want to call it yeah because there's a lot of frequencies playing out absolutely in the mind realm as well yeah and we're here trying to ground and we're sort of too much in the head not enough in the body uh, that's been really helpful. I've noticed when you put that on, when you've got a lot going on with the thoughts and a lot of streaming, Yeah, that really has helped you. You're like, within like a minute, she's yeah. like, oh, I feel a lot better. And I notice I have a pain in my head. The minute I put it on, it's almost as though the streaming has stopped and my 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 head or my frequency or my brain or something like has a moment to rest. But it does 
it does have a bit of like a headache. Mm. Um, I think because it's trying to recalibrate going back to normal kind of thing. Okay. Uh, but yes, Shungite, if you're having gr- issues grounding, Shungite is great. If you want to try foil in a cap with Shungite, small Shungite pieces, that's great too. Yeah, that's very been very helpful. Yeah. The next one I've got, I've used, it's Smoky Quartz. I've used Smoky Quartz over the years a lot. I've got a big chunky Smoky Quartz and I've done a lot of healing work with that. Mm. That one also helps clear negative energies from your environment by grounding them into the earth. Very, very great, mm. good grounding stone or crystal. So that's really helpful. Uh, and I've used it in my healings as well. Mm. I will just put that sometimes at the base of the feet or at the base chakra. Is that just the big to, one? Yeah, that's the big one. Oh, yeah, Which okay. you've been using a I've lot. I've used that one as well, yeah. for yeah. a few months. And it's, um, it's set up for a healing crystal as yeah. well. So that's really, really great. So get your hands onto that. Mm. And tiger's eye as well is really, really helpful. Tiger's eye helps you stay centered and calmly and calms calms you. And it's practical despite the ups and downs of life. It helps helps to balance you. So when you're up and down like a yo-yo, like a roller coaster ride, mm. it will just help balance. Guess what I'm being shown? It, I've get written here the ups and downs. It just I think it just helps you bring you back into a bit more balance again. So and, not so high, not so low. And I'm getting the ups and downs could also be emotional ups yeah. and downs, mental ups and downs. So anything or any time you feel like you're out of balance, really. Yeah. 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 And then the final one I picked was Ruby. Oh. Mm. Okay. Activator of passion, confidence, determination, and adventure mm. helps with courage and to face your fears mm. and it also helps with renewed vitality i like that one that's right yeah because i like ruby i like that one so yeah i had no idea ruby earrings would be good uh a ruby necklace would be good yeah. uh, a, a bracelet maybe it's Ooh. a really pretty stone as it well is. it yeah. is a pretty stone and can I also actually add one as well, which mm. I'm getting? I've been using bodgy stones. Oh, bodgy stones are fantastic. Love bodgy stones. So if you can get your hands on bodgy stones, that is also great because I have them in my pocket. So one each in my pocket. I can't remember if it's male, male. I can't remember which way it but is. But there's meant to be a male, female, and they're like, they're quite heavy in their own right aren't they yeah so there's a male and female but i think you put the male in the left hand which is the feminine side and the female in the right hand which mm. is the masculine side i think that's right i'm not 100 percent sure but i've had them in my one each in my pocket and just the feel of that because it's so earthy and rocky and it's got like its own ridges and you know it's, mm. i can feel i mm. feel it so that also helps as well when you can feel something that's got like that earthy, rocky feel to it. Yeah. When I was working at one of the um, new age shops years ago as a healer, um, the lady that ran the store said to me, oh, Jason, I think you're going to need some bodgy stones, mate. You're not looking that great. You need some grounding from all the clients that you're working mm. on. And it really did help. Mm. And I was surprised. So. Yeah, just Google all these crystals and especially the bodgy stones, I think, might yeah. be really helpful. I think the bodgy stones have been really helpful for me. I have slept with them under my pillow and I've had some really crazy dreams as well, mm. oddly enough. I don't know why. I'm mm. not 100% sure what goes on in the um, astral realm when I sleep with bodgy stones underneath. But it's, yeah, bodgy stones are highly recommend as well. 